Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. There's been a brand new update to the Kodiak 100, so I thought we would do a fun little flight today and take her for a spin around St. Bartholomew. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Hey everyone, welcome back to the cockpit of the Kodiak 100. So today's flight is not going to be a tutorial by any means, and for all the procedural nuts out there, don't get your panties in a bunch, but I am not going to be following procedures on this flight either. This is just going to be fun, so if you like the content today, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. Oh, and if you have any comments, post those down below as well. Now for those of you who don't know how to download the update for the Kodiak, well, I'll put a little montage up here so you can see exactly how that's done. In any case, let's get this show on the road and get some power going. Oh, and by the way, don't laugh at me here if I don't do something right because it has been a while, <laughs> to say the least. All right. Now, one thing that I do notice here that I just don't like about this plane is the, G the GPS here. Look at this. So even if I turn up the brightness on the GPS, it still is, it's like got this haze to it. So I don't know, is there any fix to that? Does anybody have any ideas on how to fix this? Let me know down below in the comments. As you can see under the menu, I've got everything on 100 and it's on auto. So I don't really know what else to do. But anyway, let's get the thing going. So uh, let's get the fuel pump on, do -do -do, ignition on and get that starter pumping. Oh, by the way, I'm also using a Bravo throttle quadrant, so you're not going to see me uh, dilly-dallying around with a mouse with the uh, throttles here. Now, one thing I always forget to do is the trim here. Now, this trim in this aircraft's got to be, like, way, way forward. Otherwise, it's going to go crazy on you when you lift off the ground. So, make sure that's done, and we're just going to add two notches of flaps here get us off the ground by the end of the runway. Now it looks like we got some planes coming in here. There was an MD-82 that kept trying to take off here earlier and uh, yeah, it didn't go too well for him, so. All right, parking brakes off. Let's taxi over to the runway and uh, let's see if we can try to land this thing. Now the, the first time I think I showcased this aircraft, I used this airport and I don't really think I had a great landing. So let's see what happens now. And if anybody wants to know, I am using Track IR today. I'm not using VR, so it's going to be a little different for me because I've been using VR so much lately, and it's just so powerful in Microsoft Flight Sim. It just it's it's stunning and it's amazing. And going back to Track IR is just a little different. So again, if I do something stupid, then uh, well, you'll probably call me out on it anyway. Looks like that other Kodiak's coming out here, too. All right, we're lined up. We're ready to go. Pull forward on the mixture. The graphics in this game are just stunning. Hey, let me know, uh, does everybody else still like flying the Kodiak? I haven't seen many videos on it lately, so I'm just curious if everybody's still intrigued with this aircraft. Well, as much as I am, of course. This is a beautiful aircraft, and it hand flies fantastically. Is that a word? Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> but it, it just is an amazing aircraft to fly. I love it. Speaking of hand flying aircraft, um, has anybody downloaded the new Honda Jet lately? And uh, let me know what you guys think of the Honda Jet. We're going to get into some tutorial videos on that aircraft, uh, especially with the uh, GPS unit, because um, it has a lot of cool features, and I think uh, some people would benefit from a tutorial on the uh, GPS on the Honda Jet. But one thing I do not like about that Honda Jet, though, is uh, it does not hand fly all that well. What do you guys think about that? It's got some awesome features to the GPS. It's got cruise control, some amazing things about it. I, I love that we have another Learjet too in the in the sim. You know, we're not just stuck with the Longitude and um, the, the CJ4. 
which are two stunning aircraft, by the way. I have nothing bad to say about them, but it's just a beautiful addition to have another aircraft. So maybe they will fix that in the future. I'm not sure. What do we got on here? Okay. But the Kodiak 100 is just a fantastic aircraft. It flies so well. I, I really enjoy this uh, this this aircraft. Especially if you're doing some VFR flying or you're in and out of the bush. I mean, it can take off very, very nicely. So, well, let's just see how it lands, shall we? But look at the graphics. It is just stunning out there. I also don't have my texture resolution on ultra either because I mainly fly in VR, so I leave the texture resolution on high. I went over that in a video, why you want to keep your VR texture resolution the exact same as what you have for PC. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll post that down below in the uh, comments or down below in the description. It's well up here. I'll post another link at the top of the screen, too. You can click on that. I've always had a hard time trying to land at this airport, so we'll see how it goes today. Now, for those of you who have been following me, I've been a little under the weather for the past week, and it has not been fun, to say the least. So, I'm so glad that I'm feeling so much better. I just have these very bad headaches to deal with, and I've never had them before. That's it's, it's kind of uh, weird, because, I don't know. Anyway, I'm taking some ibuprofen, and that uh, seems to do it for me. But it was a real shame all week that I really couldn't even uh, play the sim or anything because my headaches were just so bad. And, um, well, I do want to thank everybody that reached out to me and uh, to see how I was doing. I really appreciate that. And I also want to give a shout out to all of our new members on the channel. I really appreciate your support and all the super thanks that I've been getting lately. I really appreciate it. It does go a long way to help keep the channel going and bring some new content over to the channel as well. Hey, if anybody does have any suggestions or like to see tutorials on anything, let me know down below in the comments section. I'm always up for new ideas and uh, I just love helping out the community. I can't say this enough, I really don't do it for the money at all. Uh, I do it just because of the love of the sim and I just enjoy helping people out. So. Okay, so let's see if we can land this thing down on the ground safely without uh, any commotion, so to speak. Oh wow, the graphics here are just stunning, amazing. 500. This aircraft does fly very, very nicely. I'm trying to skim the top of these uh, trees here as I come in. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but... Flaps are down. And I'm pretty sure it's right over this little ridge line right here. Those of you who fly this all the time, you're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so let's see uh, what we can do. I think I can see it right over there. There it is. Turbulence, little turbulence. Let's see if we can get a glance of this guy. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> he must have been following me around. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this short little episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I'll get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. And to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching.